Ta-da! It's a blank screen. Uh, welcome to something. Uh, I gave this offer for people that wanted to learn how to do some editing. So Dave opted to do it. He wanted, he's doing it. So I was going to make this quick video for him and be like, all right, this is some tri tips and tricks for how you're going to do what you're about to do. I figured, fuck, I might as well just do it right. Do it live. So Dave was provided a file as you all were, if you want it, and you still can get it. <clears throat> um, where did I put said file? Computer transfer. Let's see. Prism 1840. Prism 1840, it's in Dropbox. And that is the file. All right, so this is a file, it's on Dropbox. I provided Dave, it's first step, drag it, drop it into here, right? <coughs> Stop. Don't do that. It's on Dropbox. Why would you link a file to something on online Dropbox? You need to put it somewhere. Most importantly, put it on a hard drive. So create a new folder. Project. Example. Start a new folder. Footage. Go back to Dropbox, or better yet, hit Command New. Command N. Start a new window. Go up to Dropbox, find it that way. 1840, transfer it. Here's a big file. Uh, so that's going to take 10 minutes. So pretend that I did that. All right. <laughs> How does that sound? Because I'm not actually going to sit here for 10 minutes while that transfer is over. I'm just going to go to where it actually is. You get the genesis of that point. I'm going to delete that because that's annoying. And I'm just going to go get the actual footage. And now you can see my filing system as it builds, but uh, Denver interviews is going to be in my XD root C. 1840, right? That's what I said. Bam. Who knows their footage? <clears throat> All right. So then over here, I can't notice this. I'm like, eh, I can't. Can't. It won't work. Why is it not working? Because um, there's no library. No library. So we're going to start a new library. Uh, new libraries should be housed on the hard drive in which you're working. So since I just deleted that folder, it should go there. So imagine that I'm doing that. God, I suck at making these videos. Um, why does anybody watch this? But generally start the library in the folder in which I was just thus speaking of. So if I was going to do that, go back here, new folder. Folder, example, blah, uh, didn't even work, but whatever, United, unlighted, there, untitled folder, I need more beer. Example, start your library. All right, now we can import media. See how it says import media? It's got a couple folders over here. These are generally junk. I renamed the first one, call it footage. That's where I'm going to put all the footages. Um, I'm going to go back to my footage, like I said, and it's over here in Mile Marker, New Footage, Denver Interview, 60C, 1840. All right, now, before I bring it in, I'm going to check my tags. Yep, look at that. Location, date, interview day. I'm going to add a name because now I know his name. Uh, and then I'm going to bring that file into Final Cut. See how the blue box lit up? That means, hello, I'm ready for you. Drop into your file. It's too much footage. <clears throat> Up here, it's going to start doing some stuff. It's going to build thumbnails and waveforms. Nothing you can do about it. Just let it do it. It's better to just let the computer take the time it needs to build that shit. Um, but if it's up here and it says transcoding and analysis, uh, if your computer's slow, let it do that. Make a go, And if it's not, select the clip. Close this. Go up to file, transcode media and make both an optimized and a proxy media. If you have the file, the hard drive space, just do it. It'll run better. Um, you can go up here and change better quality and better performance, and you can change a proxy or an optimized or original file. Um, so those are a couple things to be aware of if you want it to run better, if your computer's lagging. See right now how there's no waveforms right here? That's because it's still building them. And it's gonna take some time to do that. And the more I mess with the program, the longer it's gonna take. Um, so, something to notice while we have a moment, 
Notice the color of the image. Let's go back to here and open it in Quick Finder, Quick View, whatever. That is very muted. It's very gray. That's log file. That's what log footage looks like. When you bring at least FS7 footage, most DSLR footage, most log footage, most higher end cameras, everything I've noticed except for the DJI. They don't have DJI uh, codec built in yet. But see how it automatically rendered it for the camera type? And if I went up here to information, and this is set on basic, but <clears throat> if I went to extended, it'll say color profile, Sony S-Log 3, S-Log Cine 3. Um, and you can change it here. It's an automatic LUT. That's, uh, uh, shit, I don't remember what LUT stands for. But it's basically like a pro an auto processing file. It's like a filter you would add in Instagram or anything else like that. And that's the filter it's adding. And you can change it, um, and then you can manipulate it other ways as well. Um, just something to be aware of. Also, you can generally get your general information here about the clip, or you can extend stuff down here because what it never tells me, oh, rarely, is the frame size. So, all right. So, uh, we need to build a new project. I don't like to build projects in the same folder as footage, so what I like to do is delete the hell out of that folder because nobody needs that crap. And set a new... What's going on here? All right. Uh, new event. That's what I'm doing. New event. And then I'm going to say projects. That way I keep all my projects organized in one place. Keep my footage in one place and then my projects somewhere else. So I'm going to go in projects. I'm going to go new project. And I'm going to say uh, Seth interview v1 and the date. What is today's date? 01 08 2018. And projects, uh, I'm going to go with use automatic settings and then what that's going to do is it's going to base the entire clip off of the clip settings, so this is a 4K clip. If you go back to footages, okay. You go back to footage, <clears throat> it's 4096 by 2160, so that's 185 4K. Um, and so now if I take any section of this and I drop it into my timeline, it doesn't have to render, see that? But if I set it at like 1080p because it's 4K, it would, the project line would have to downsize that. So it takes some time. So that's that. Um, so don't, you know, that's that. So basically the whole reason I set up this video is to show you what I just did essentially. But you start here at the beginning of the interview. Once everything's done, um, if you want, you come over here to sound. As I told you, the boom is on channel two. So um, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna, I'm sorry, the lab is on channel two. So I'm gonna turn on the loudness for that, turn off the boom mic. Um, I'm gonna show my viewers for audio, clipping, clicking on that, so now I can hear, see what he's saying. Turn on my audio skimmers, and um, there you go. Still a little low, but basically that's it. So all I really wanted to show you was when you hit play with spacebar or whatever, you hit I for in, you're like, oh, I like this part. This is really great stuff. I'm super interested in what this guy is saying. This is definitely going to be one of my selects. Oh, I'm no longer interested. O for out. I for in, O for out. And then hit E for enter, and it enters it into the timeline. Maybe it's not E for enter. I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's just E. And then it automatically enters it. If, you want, if you're like, oh, I like this next clip. Let's do it again. Hit space for play. Let the computer catch up because it's rendering. Like, oh, it's super boring. I'm going to hit L to go double speed. It's listening double speed. People talk pretty slow, so you can definitely get away with this. And you're like, oh, I, interested. Also, endpoint is what it really stands for. Um, and then he's talking, talking. This is all great. And I'm no longer interested. Over, out, space bar. But I want to put it here. Before I was hitting E, if I hit E again, it'll just go to the back end. Command Z to undo that. If I move the cursor here and I hit W, it's going to place it beforehand. So just a little tip and trick. So go through, do your selects just like that. You normally want to get the introduction, the name, what they do, genesis of the conversation, interesting moments, uh, and put those all in a line. And then that's it. Once you do that, communicate with me that you have done that. 
I will require an XML file. So you'll click on the project here and go file, export XML, and you will send me that XML. I will open that XML on my end and I will check your work. And that is the end of step one. Congratulations for joining the editing channel.